Now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about worship. Someone might ask the question, what is worship and why is it important? There is much misunderstanding today by those attending church gatherings about what worship really is. Some have come to understand that worship is when we sing our songs of praise to our God, or perhaps when we pray to God with praise. Certainly these have some relationship to worship, but they do not give us the full understanding of what worship is. Worship may mean to bow humbly before God, but it also conveys the idea of sacrifice. Worship comes from the root word, worth, and is used really to ascribe something or someone with worth. If we value a car, then we might choose to spend much money to purchase the car for ourselves. Because of the value we saw in the car, we were willing to sacrifice much money to possess the car. In the same way, when we worship our God, we make sacrifices of our time, of our money, and of our skills and devote them to God. This is how we show that we value God and our relationship to Him. To give into the church offering takes faith, and it is a sacrifice, and this expresses our worship to a greater degree than singing a song before God that really did not cost anything. When Abraham offered his precious son Isaac on the altar of sacrifice, he was telling God how much he loved God and how much he was willing to give up for his God, and this was his worship. We should not think that by singing a few songs on Sunday morning we are worshiping God when we have failed to put something into the offering or given any of our time to serving the Lord. Worship is important because it is something that only belongs to God and it is something that God is very pleased with. God wants us to learn to love Him and enjoy His greatness and His goodness and that will always lead us to worship. Too often we give worship to other things like money, fame or pleasure But that is idolatry, for God alone is to be worshipped and not the things that he gives to us. The devil was willing to give all the kingdoms of the world away if Jesus would bow before him and worship him. This shows us how much the devil coveted the worship which belonged to God alone. If we could understand how much it pleases God for us to be worshippers of our God, then I think we would make more effort to bring our offerings to Him.